always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Bit on the cool side across West Michigan this evening. Still, temperature is running warmer than what we're used to, but it's cool enough to go enjoy the ice rink, which is exactly what a lot of folks are doing at Rosa Park Circle. Notice the line there near the top of your screen by the Christmas tree. Those are all people waiting to get on the rink. So it is a very popular place, especially on a weekend like this, where the weather is not cold enough to make it hurt when you step outside. <laughs> and uh, that is going to continue at least for another week. We are tracking our next system for the final day of 2023. It's this weak disturbance that's already tracking to the south, bringing with it some light snow showers. That's set to arrive for us during the day tomorrow. So we're not seeing any precipitation yet, but that will be changing. And in fact, it will likely be changing as we head overnight. If you're heading out for New Year's Eve, no matter what your plans are, right up till midnight, just uh, plan on the likelihood of seeing some mixed rain and snow showers. Uh, likely transitioning over to snow for the most part during the evening, but a few raindrops could mix in during the day. I'll show it to you on future casts. I think once we get past midnight, we may see some drizzle develop, even if uh, this future cast isn't necessarily picking up on it. Possibility is there for some very light precipitation prior to sunrise, and with areas uh, dropping to near freezing, we could certainly see a few slick spots early Sunday morning. As we head into the day on Sunday, though, we see mostly snow showers, some raindrops trying to mix in from time to time. That continues through much of the day tomorrow, including tomorrow evening, before gradually tapering off into Monday morning, in which we see some light lake effect snow showers along the coastline. So during the day tomorrow, going to be fairly messy, but we're not expecting travel impacts. It's just going to be a mix of uh, mostly snow, a few raindrops, again, trying to mix in. And with those temperatures near freezing tomorrow morning, Watch out for a few slick spots, especially on those bridges and overpasses. Snowfall amounts certainly not going to be impressive, likely a half inch or less, and a lot of that will have a hard time sticking to the roads because of how warm we've been over the last several days. Here's a look out of the Ford Airport tonight. Pretty quiet weather out there. We do have a decent breeze out of the southwest, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures are in the mid-30s, 36 right now in Grand Rapids and Hastings. We're at 35 in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. Uh, wind chills are in the upper 20s to low 30s. We continue to see temperatures above average. We are firmly in our second warmest December on record, dating back to the late 1800s, with an average temperature almost 8 degrees above normal. Here's your 8-day forecast. Has temperatures in the 30s, which is certainly a change from what we've experienced through much of this month. Uh, we do have that chance of mostly snow tomorrow. As we head into 2024, not a whole lot changes, at least not yet. Uh, it does look like, even though the 8-14-day to 14 day temperature outlook keeps us above average, Right around that January 11th time frame, it looks like we may begin to transition to some true winter-like conditions. We'll be watching that closely, but for now, we'll continue to enjoy temperatures near or above average. Donovan? Yes, we will. Blake, thank you so much, man.